He's tough anyway, because the fangs will break. But you know, if you have a hundred of these, you might get one that has a yellow neck. Maybe not even that common. This is the only one I've ever seen come through here. Right. These are my vintage shows. One of each complete loose collection. I would love a carded collection, but it's just not gonna happen. It's too expensive and too many guys. So Andy, where's Andy? He's running away. He put all these together for me. Uh, repaired all the O-rings, made sure they're all complete. And now there's a few in here that might have a little sticky note that might need a gun. So I'm still not, and I'm not done. But this, so the tray here starts at 82. And then four. -ish. So this is the order. Then it starts up here and goes this way. And it should be in order of the Belomo book. That's my reference. Uh, so I'm copying the exact order he puts them in the book, which is, I think, good guys and bad guys in order of release. So I'm trying to think. And then the very end just might be stuff that that I might. Yeah, well, no, this is a good one. Well, of course it is. So this is Action Force. So this isn't even... This no, is European Tiger Force. Yeah, there you go. See, he's the Joe guy. But he's tough. So they did really cool versions outside of the U.S. for a couple of these guys that are just really sought after. But I, I mean, it just the opportunity came and the price was reasonable. And I was like, all right, I'm buying all the other stuff, so I'll get it. But it's another rabbit hole to go down. And I already have a major blood, but this was, you know, with the mail away, you know, the mail away file card uncut. And that's pretty nice emblem on him. And this is cool. I mean, it's dirty and I got to clean it and the antenna's broke, but this is from the Dino Hunters playset, which is pretty. Look how bad that is. And if you look at the box art, it looks so good and it's so bad. It's throwing up gang signs. Right, yeah, I don't know. This one's cool. So this guy, so this is heavy metal that came with the mauler. But there's a second version of him, Rampage. And he didn't have the uh, Scruff. five o'clock shadow, I guess. And the pants are... And the, the coloring's slightly different, but this one did not come with a microphone. And the problem I have is I don't own this figure except for this one, but he's in a baggie. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that loose. it creates a problem yeah. for me. Yeah, we don't have it. There's the regular version, so you can see the difference in the color. Yeah, if you, I don't know if you can. You can pick it up. But he's got a five o'clock shadow. You can see the green on the pants is different. I don't know if the lighting's that great in here. I don't know if that does anything. But he doesn't have the scruff. And the coloring is different. And the crazy thing is, heavy metal comes with a mic, which is always gone, which makes him a valuable figure. But this particular version is more rare, but he doesn't come with a mic. But he was mail away. Or a beard. Or a beard. <laughs> so just, yeah, slight repaint. All the Joes with mics. Or money because it's that little skinny little piece. And now lift tickets reasonable. Yeah, sneak peek. Right. Not bad. But you get into like payload. Oh well, yeah. So front, like. Yeah, and worms is weird because it's not a mic; it's an yeah, antenna. Uh, oh. So, yeah, let's, let's find. So that tiny little antenna is the money. So that. So obviously that would break or just get lost because it comes off. And now we're, oh, and then some other really, I mean, so there's 82 straight arm, 83 swivel arm. Uh, I have some night, this is a great one. That's the listen and fun tripwire. So he actually came with a cassette and had a really cool adventure and totally different paint scheme. You know, uh, 
totally different. I mean, if you're going back to 82, 83, I mean, other than the Mickey Mouse, the one to get would be the Silver Pads Grand Slam. Yeah, no, he's great. That was another variant. And this one's very nice. Now, yeah, so here's, he's from the Defiant. So, so it's going to be really hard to, it's this. So that's, that's the money. And then there's repros on eBay, but you know, I don't want anything repro. So then it's almost like you have to buy from a reputable seller because somebody could be selling it and they don't know any better. They could have bought it thinking it's genuine, but the seller who sold it to him just hey you didn't ask i didn't tell uh so here's another good one. Oh, so yeah this is a variant so this is the regular serpentor and this is the variant painted neck being yellow neck call him yellow neck serpentor And he, he's tough anyway, because the fangs will break. But, you know, if you have a hundred of these, you might get one that has the yellow neck. Maybe not even that common. This is the only one I've ever seen from Georgia. Right. Steel Brigade, how many versions? Four or five? Four? Four. Yeah, because I only have D. So this is the most common version. But I'm going to have to get all the versions. But that's the version I have. But he's the most common to find. But I think in the office I have more of him with the patch, but they're in baggies because you had to mail away for him. But that's the only one. And whenever I spot one and the price is reasonable, I buy. But the reason it's reasonable is because I keep buying D. So <laughs> that's my problem. A is, a is the most expensive. This is a great set. So this was Mission Brazil. Also came with a cassette. And the accessories don't change, but I guess the paint app or the coloring of the characters are all different. This is the only new character in that line. Looking for a uh, Ninja Viper. Oh, he's in here. Is he? That's another one. He was at the, he was at the back. So this is, here, well, you could shift it here. I'm just curious. Is there, yeah, he's tough. And then there's silver swords, black swords. Yep. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab that other box and bring it. So I don't know where I put the other one. All right, so the, see, this is how it would have come. So that's actually a baggied version. It came with a patch. But again, that's the one, the same one, right? But then didn't the guns change? Well, that's the same gun. But he can still be the same, but I've seen variation with the gun. Well, you got two different versions right here. Look at this one. Oh, this is the bro crotch one. Right. So this one's C, I think. Yeah. So. Well, it might be hard to show. Where's the other one? This will be C. See, they use different components to construct them. Right. And then Andy might tell you who's what's what. I don't know. So this is a hiss tank driver waste. You can tell the. Sidearms are different. Right. right. So the waist is different, the legs different. A couple of them. Different. The chest is the same, right? Uh, a couple of them are different. Because there's just a black, there's just black and gray swords. But if you're trying to do every version, it gets to be a nightmare. Uh, and then that one had the actual file card. It's always nice when you get it and the kid didn't cut it or something. So there's two versions of that. This was a mail away Cobra Commander. It was the hooded Cobra, you know, the uncut card. But see, the gun's different. I don't know if it's hard to. And then there's gold. Well, gold head. Oh, so there's okay, six with gold head. The, yeah, but that was like 92, I think. Uh, 
is the those are D's yeah those are three D's and one B is it a B then? B but A is the hardest right 